keeping up with our motto that learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning students! A warm welcome to all of you dear students of Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College. Standard 3 Subject Environmental Studies Topic Directions and Maps My dear students, I have a question for you. From which direction does the sun rise and set? As we have observed that the sun rises from one direction and it sets in the opposite direction of it. That is, the sun rises from the east direction and as we know it sets in the opposite direction. Yes, the opposite direction of east is called as the west direction. When we travel to a new place, we are not aware about which direction we are traveling. Therefore, we use a map, right? Let us first understand what is a map. A map is the representation of the surface of the earth. Map is very useful as it is an outline or a diagram that can guide us in any geographic place. In order to know a particular location, we use directions on the map. Directions? What is meant by direction? My dear students, the path, line or any particular way in which a person or thing is moving or looking is called as a direction. There are four main directions. Which are they? Let us know. The four main directions are East, West, North and South. My dear students, Let's do this activity. I'm sure it will help you to understand the directions in an appropriate way. Take a paper and draw a picture of a car. Let's assume that the car is facing the west direction. My dear students, observe this properly. The left side of the car will be the south direction, the right side will be the north and east side will be behind the car that is the opposite direction of west. My dear students, the sun is used to determine the directions and there is also an instrument which is used to understand the directions which is called as a compass. It looks like the picture which is given below. Let us know now how we can use directions in maps. This is the map of India. Here we can see the directions are shown. They are indicated in arrows pointing the east, west, north and south direction. By understanding this, you will be able to identify the directions of the places in the map easily. My dear students, Let's try this. As we know the sun sets in the west direction. Let's observe when the sun sets. Stand facing the west direction. Now 
understand whether in which direction will your shadow fall. These are the directions the north, south, west and east. In which direction will your shadow fall? Yes, my dear students, your shadow will fall in the opposite direction. That is the east direction. Let's move on to the next subtopic that is the district, state and country. My dear students, this is the map of district Thani. This is the map of our state Maharashtra. Map of India. And this is the map of the world. My dear students, a vast section of land is called as a continent. We have seven continents in the world. They are the North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia and Antarctica. The land which is occupied by salt water on the earth is called as the ocean. The other name for the word earth is world. There are about 195 countries in the world. There are many states in each country. The state in which we live is Maharashtra and there are 29 states in India. This is the map of our country India. My dear students, let us know something more about map. Can you see the map of Maharashtra? Yes, we can see that there are many colors shown in it. Can you see down there on the right hand side, there are some colors given and also some names are written. The pink color is denoted as the Amravati division. The Aurangabad division is denoted by blue color. Konkan division is shown in grey. Nagpur division is shown in brown. Nashik division is shown in yellow color. And division of Pune is shown in green in color. My dear students, description box in the map is called as the index. The index gives us more information about the map by indication of signs, symbols, pictures and different shades of colors are used. The capital of India is New Delhi. This is the map of the world. The part which is shown in blue is water and the land that is continents is shown in white color. With the help of this map, we are able to understand the whole world regarding the land and water can be seen at a glance. Now, my dear students, let's have a quick recap of what we have learned. Map is the representation of the surface of the earth. It is an outline 
or a diagram that can guide us. The path, line or any particular way in which a person or a thing is moving or looking is called as a direction. The four main directions are east, west, north and south. A vast section of land is called as a continent. There are 195 countries in the world and 29 states in India. The description box in the map is called as the index. My dear students, I hope you all enjoyed learning this interesting lesson with me on directions and maps. Keep learning and be safe.